Some would say Justin and Hailey Bieber are the definition of a Hollywood power couple. Others would say the complete opposite. Because over the years, there have been quite a few instances where Justin was caught treating Hailey very badly. Some of these are pretty shocking. So in this video, we're counting down the top 10 times Justin was caught being rude to her. Number 10, ignoring Hailey. The model was posing in front of the cameras at the Vanity Fair party. But this year, she was noticeably alone as Justin decided not to pose with her. While Hailey was walking the red carpet by herself, he was nowhere to be found. Instead, he was photographed inside the party looking a little disheveled, but very comfortable. Justin was wearing a backwards baseball cap with a colorful blanket draped over his shoulders. It's possible that he couldn't be bothered with all the red carpet attire and wanted to go straight to the party. After all, he was wearing a literal blanket. But in the middle of her drama with Selena Gomez, that was probably not the best idea. It seemed like he was trying to distance himself from his wife and everything that she was going through at the time. Later on, he did post a photo of the two of them from inside the party on his Instagram, but he's never really shown any public support in the weeks that the feud went on. This was concerning to a lot of fans who supported Hailey because it seemed like not even her husband was coming to her defense. The fact that Justin simply didn't want to get involved said a lot about their relationship. Number nine, slamming the door. In 2020, Justin got a ton of flack from fans in a paparazzi video that went viral. Despite claims that he is a gentleman, his behavior around his wife has been far from chivalrous. And that only refers to what's actually been caught on camera. In a shocking clip, you can see the singer pulled up in a black chauffeured SUV. As he got out of the car, he looks visually annoyed as if he just had some kind of meltdown inside the car. Without looking back, he carelessly slammed the door in Haley's face. She tragically followed him without any real pushback and even tried to point him in the right direction when she finally caught up to him. The only thing she said was, babe, I think this is the right way. Of course, a lot of people were sickened with the whole video because it really looked like a textbook toxic relationship. Seeing Haley be automatically apologetic after Justin clearly embarrassed her in front of everyone was triggering for a lot of people. In the comments, one person wrote, she needs to wake up. If a man treats you like that, he doesn't love you. Another person wrote, ah, if I was Haley, I would get a divorce and move out of the country. So it seems like most people were encouraging her to break up with him. Number eight, dissing their marriage. In the midst of the drama, fans have continually brought up an interview of Justin talking about the downsides of his relationship. Apparently he struggled after realizing that his marriage to Haley wouldn't instantly make him a better person. He said, it is a journey. I remember when I first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was going to fix all of my problems and it didn't. He went on to say that he felt like a hypocrite because he wanted Haley to do something that he wasn't doing for himself. Although Justin was obviously speaking from the heart here, many fans were mocking the video, saying that he only feels that way because he's with the wrong person. Shortly after they tied the knot, Haley and Justin did an interview with Vogue where they talked about going to a marriage counselor. Haley said, the thing is marriage is very hard. That is a sentence you should lead with. It's really effing hard, which is something that they both could agree on. Now that doesn't mean that they're immediately going to divorce, but some would say that it's not a great sign of the future of their relationship. Number seven, running away from Haley. In September of 2021, there was a shocking video posted on Twitter that showed Justin literally running away from paparazzi and leaving Haley behind while she falls to the ground. In the clip, you can see him get out of the car with his skateboard and just take off without saying anything. At first, it looks like he's alone and just doing his own thing. But one second later, and Haley literally falls out and looks flustered. She seems to be confused at the fact that she got left behind. And to make things so much worse, this all happened on a busy street and so many people watched it happen. She then sprints after him and obviously tries to catch up, but Justin is already out of sight. The whole thing must have been incredibly embarrassing for her. And that's exactly what the comments said. One person wrote, I know this keeps her awake every night and that's why you shouldn't chase men. However, fans were also a little more sympathetic to her situation, considering that a lot of people could relate to having a partner that just doesn't really care about them. One person said, as much as we may not like her, no female deserves to be treated like this by their husband. She deserves better regardless. Number six, allegations of cheating. We all know Justin got together with Haley very quickly after he ended things with Selena Gomez in June of 2018. So ever since then, cheating rumors have followed the couple. For her part, Haley has adamantly denied this was the case and said that Selena and Justin weren't as serious as everyone thought they were when they got back together briefly in 2018. She said, as a woman, I would never want to get into a relationship with someone and be engaged to them and be getting married to them and be thinking in the back of my mind, I wonder if that door was really closed. I know for a fact that the reason we were able to get back together was because it was very much completely closed. But for her part, Selena commented on a TikTok in a way that suggested that was not the whole truth. One of her fans posted a video saying, does anyone just ever feel really 
bad for Selena Gomez? Like, can you imagine going through a breakup so publicly with a guy that you were in love with for like seven years and then like two months later he just marries someone? In response, Selena wrote in the comments, that made me cry, thank you. So even though Haley swears that there was no overlap whatsoever, the timeline has always been a little bit sketchy. Number five, the Facebook Live. A video has recently resurfaced online of Haley and Bieber on Facebook Live in May of 2020. In the clip, Haley admitted to the constant comparisons that she gets to Selena Gomez, and she says that gets really overwhelming. Quote, the ways that I feel like people have made comparisons and just put me in a position where they've really made me feel like less of a woman. It's not easy. And all this time, while Haley is pouring her heart out on camera, Justin is not really being supportive. While she's talking, he keeps a poker face and just gazes blankly off the camera. Now that people are re-watching the video almost three years later, they're pretty shocked by his lack of response. In fact, his facial expressions are so vacant that some people even joked that he looked like a cardboard cutout or a green screen projection. Fans felt that his body language was a major red flag for their relationship. Someone in the comments suggested that he was being hypnotized just to sit there. Most people could agree that he genuinely looked like he would rather be anywhere else. So was this clip an indicator that their relationship is not that great behind the scenes? Or do you think everyone's just reading into this a little too much? Number four, screaming at Haley. In July of 2021, the couple were in Las Vegas to celebrate Kendall Jenner's new tequila brand, 818. As the night ended, a TikTok user by the name of Yanjarik23 posted a video of Justin and Haley leaving the club with fans and bodyguards around them. In the video, they could be seen holding hands, but as they were walking down the halls of the hotel, Justin very clearly looked like he was yelling at her. That clip went viral on TikTok with more than 1.2 million views, and it drew concern from fans everywhere. From that point on, the comment section was filled with theories about why he was screaming at her, and so many people put it down to a sign of a toxic relationship. After all, who yells at their partner like that? Before it was deleted, fans seemed to turn on Justin for the way that he was treating Haley. although some came to his defense and claimed that he wasn't yelling at her out of anger, but maybe it was out of excitement. Sadly though, that was far from the only video that came out about them showing him losing control of his temper. Number three, Justin saying, don't touch me. Obviously, every relationship is different and every couple has different boundaries, but fans were still pretty shocked to see a video of Haley making Justin physically uncomfortable. In the video, they're doing a live stream of some kind and he's sitting down casually while she's standing behind him with her arms crossed. He then tries to be affectionate and put her arms around him, which he instantly physically reacts to. Justin becomes annoyed and says, babe, I can't, don't touch me right now. At first, Haley seems confused and she can't really tell if he's being all that serious. She then keeps her arms there, but then he says, just in general, that just happens sometimes. I just need some space. So he was trying to be nice about it and communicate with her honestly. And in terms of body language, you can tell that he wasn't loving the way that he was being touched. A lot of people called Haley out for disrespecting his boundaries and making him feel stressed. But of course, there were also those fans who felt that this was a sign that he just doesn't like her anymore because he keeps getting annoyed with every little thing that she does. Number two, argument on live. In a Facebook Live, Justin and Haley can be seen sitting on a couch answering questions about his Lyme disease diagnosis. At one point, they get asked whether or not he's scared about the diagnosis. And even though the question was clearly directed at Justin, for some reason, Haley decides to answer instead. Midway through her response, he then cuts her off and says, no, she was asking me. What follows is a long, awkward silence, which eventually breaks into a laugh. He then says, they're asking me because it's my Lyme disease. It's not your Lyme disease. In response, Haley says that she's the one who's been going to all his doctor's appointments with him. But then Justin cuts her off one more time and says, listen here, woman. And that is obviously one of the worst things he could have said to her. After that, they decided to end the live stream, but not before Haley made a sarcastic comment about his attitude. At this point, it's pretty obvious that there was a lot of tension between them, which might have been exacerbated by Justin's health condition. Because at the time, he also had a serious case of mono, which he says was affecting his skin, his brain function, and also his energy. And coming in at number one, how they met. In 2020, Justin sat down with Demi Lovato on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, and he talked about how he met his wife. He said, I think because she was raised Christian and they found out that, I think it was an arranged marriage. I'm pretty sure looking back now, it was definitely an arranged marriage. They set this whole thing up. He explains that since Haley was raised Christian, her dad Stephen Baldwin decided to introduce them because he thought that they would have similar values and believe the same thing. He says, it was definitely an arranged marriage now that I'm thinking about it. Even though Demi kind of laughed off the idea, Justin just kept on repeating how he thought it was arranged. Of course he was joking, but at the same time, fans took this interview as proof that he was being serious. In fact, there's now been a ton of videos posted where people try to use this to explain how their marriage was a setup and Justin was somehow tricked. Their first meeting
meeting was all the way back in 2009 and was actually captured on camera. So judging from that footage, we'd get a better idea of whether or not it looked like a setup. So what do you guys think about everything on this list? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.